Okay, so we've uh, arrived at uh, Hmong, Hmong Village. So, um, Pai is... Yeah, I feel a bit rude for doing that. Sorry about that. Thank you. Okay. So you film it. Okay, so, uh, I have been here about five years ago, and most of the, these houses used to have little shops where you could buy things. But I think because of COVID, it's not really, uh, it's probably the way you're going by. It's not too difficult. <laughs> Somebody, how are you? So all these shop these all these houses used to have little shops. For example, this one used to have a little shop. But now because there's no foreign tourists uh, because local all our tourists don't tend to want to come to these villages because it's not very interesting, it's just normal life in Laos. But foreign, foreigners do like that and they used to have little shops. <laughs> Doing because she speaks well. Speak well. That's what she's making. Ah, uh, what is it? What is it in English? I don't know. <laughs> you fence. know? Fence. No, I didn't. For, oh, for the, the roof. roof. Yeah. The roof, yeah. That's it. Mm. Here we go. The end okay. You see, every house have this one. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you need? Where are we going? <laughs> you can see uh, something in here. Lots of little kids. Mm. Okay. And you can talk with them. You can speak loud. Somebody. 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 Can hear you, Nani. Check P. Somebody. Just hear you, Nani. Just hear you, Nani. Just hear you. Chuck P. Jow. Jabo Kajai Pasalabo. You got me. Funny. I'm more than a pepper. Okay, the boys either don't understand when we speak loud or they're just shy. I think they're just shy. But they do have their own language, so it could be both. They must be how old? Five? Four, three? I think they're older than that, but it's just very small. 
I think they're older, but they're just small because you can tell by the teeth and that they're a bit older. Places that you can buy souvenirs, so you've gone on your.